Cyber Gauge 360 is a fairly unique uh, 3D inspection system in the marketplace. Essentially, what we have is a system that has two sensors, one on the top and one on the bottom, that allows us to scan through a glass plate and cover the entire part uh, with data as we rotate it around into multiple positions and, and scan the entire part. Then it gets compared to its CAD model uh, and we run an inspection versus that CAD so we can determine what's wrong with the part uh, or if the part's fine and so basically you can do a very quick inspection in under three minutes. It's also very easy to use for an operator, someone who doesn't have to be highly trained in order to use it. Basically all you have to do is call up the program for that specific part that you're about to scan, put the part into the machine, close the door, and hit the run button. Anytime you have a projected light system, uh, you run into potential issues with parts, say, shiny surface finish or something like that. The, the, the light from the, uh, from the scanner can reflect off the part in a number of different ways. What MRS allows us to do and what the architecture of the system, CyberGauge system, allows us to do is actually compare data from multiple different sensors at the same time and determine what's a good piece of data, what's a bad piece of data, what are we going to keep, what are we going to throw out. In the end, we, we're stitching together data that's good rather than data that's good and bad. Uh, we get a much more re accurate representation of the surface of the part. The benefits of, of CyberGauge are, are actually pretty straightforward once you start looking at the machine. Obviously, we've got CMM level accuracy at seven microns, which uh, is really, really, really good for uh, a work envelope of this size, I mean, which is a 200 millimeter cylinder that's about 150 millimeters tall. So anything that fits inside that, we can scan. And typically what we're looking at are consumer electronic parts, plastics, um, maybe some, some medical device type things that are going to hit that work envelope and then also uh, the accuracies that we're able to get with the machine at 7 micron accuracy and then of course we're able to, to meet that throughout the whole work area. And the type of applications that we would be doing with this would be potentially uh, say incoming inspection or uh, production sampling is another big one. Also, uh, supplier inspections and, and things like this, where we're actually uh, remote inspecting at, uh, at an OEM supplier for somebody before the part actually leaves, say, an injection mold factory and comes back to you. Uh, you can make sure that it's good prior to actually uh, receiving the part. Traditionally, you would you know, get parts from your suppliers and have to measure them at incoming inspection and waste a whole bunch of time. And if something's bad, you're going to be wasting lots of, of components that may need to be uh, reshot or rejected or for whatever reason. If you can check them before they actually leave uh, your supplier, uh, you can save a whole bunch of time and a whole bunch of money. In addition to that, we've got an incredibly easy to use uh, interface for this, especially for the day-to-day uh, -day operator. And basically all he's doing is opening the door, putting in a part, calling up the program and hitting the run button, and then just waiting for it to tell him whether it's good or bad. And another key benefit there is the amount of time he's waiting for it to tell him whether it's good or bad, and that's typically under three minutes. You know, he can get results right away. So all three of those together are some of the, the, the key benefits to the machine is how fast it is, easy to use, and then obviously the accuracy. Quality obviously is a very important metric when we're talking metrology. Um, the CyberGauge 360 has proven that it's above and beyond um, capable of what we need as far as tolerances, improving tolerances, improving dimensions for our customers. In general, CyberGauge is a lot more automated than most of the other uh, uh, competitive devices out there. You'll find uh, most of the 3D scanning solutions that exist require a lot of hand-holding from the uh, operator to actually scan a part, uh, put all the data together from multiple angles, to make sure that you've scanned all the way around the whole part and then the inspection of course is, is a whole other matter as well. Uh, we've done uh, a ton of work to make sure that we've automated as much of this as possible so really all it is is a push button system for the operator and that, that really differentiates it from a lot of the 3D scanners. But it also differentiates it from, from the CMM type uh, systems as well because those are also very very heavily uh, operator oriented and you really do need to be you know, an engineering technician to run these things. Um, we're trying to make it as easy as possible for the general operator to be somebody who maybe gets an hour of training on the thing at the most. Um, the programmer may be more of you know, an existing manufacturing engineering type of person who understands uh, the basics of metrology and things like that in order to create you know, the inspections to begin with, but that's a much, much, much smaller uh, portion of the amount of time that the machine is being used. 
But in general, it's really quite fast, so it gives you the opportunity to deploy it in places where you might not have thought, hey, we should be measuring something here. Um, and once we start determining you know, those key bottlenecks, those areas where quality can jump out and, and bite you and say, you know, we really should be inspecting this thing before we put it together instead of afterwards and wasting a bunch of labor on it, um, CyberGage gives you the opportunity to do that very quickly uh, within your production line. You don't have to worry about sending it to the quality lab and waiting for them to, to get to it, you know whatever the lead time is for you right now. It could be very long, and obviously the, the time it takes to inspect is also very long. If we reduce the amount of time it takes to do the inspection, the lead times go down too. So all of that, you know, gangs up together to make it much, much quicker to get things through the system.